Hello, Sam here. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Well, it's your show. Where would you like to begin? I think we should keep the questions simple and straightforward. You're a man of considerable success and influence. What is the one thing that has contributed most to your success? <laughs> That's a great question. It's not a simple question, but I'll do the best I can. It's been quite a ride. Any leader will tell you that there are a lot of decisions to be made and a lot of ups and downs to get through. But if I had to choose one thing that has guided me and made me the man that I am today, I would have to say honor. Hmm. Honor? Can you tell me more about that? Well, it's hard to fully explain. But from the beginning, honor has been a guiding force for everything good in my life. And I'd say life has been good overall. But looking back, there's not a lot of things I would change. Now, that doesn't mean there weren't tough times. Believe me, there were. And sometimes you can't see the good in things when you're living them, you know? But I've learned that I can always choose to honor even when I don't understand. Now, growing up was complicated, but here's the short version. I barely knew my real parents. They left me when I was very young. So the man who raised me wasn't my real father. Now, you know Eli. He was in charge before me. <laughs> I'm sure you know of him. Well, he raised me from the age of three. <laughs> I was really young. I really didn't understand what was going on at the time. I don't remember my mother much at all. I barely remember when she left me the first time. Now, you'd think that kind of a start in life would leave me feeling rejected and unwanted, but Really, when I think of my mother, I, I think of love, love and honor. My mother told me that God had given me to her and that she had promised to give me back to him. Now, she chose to honor that. Well, I was just a kid. I, I was still confused. But I could tell that it was important to her to honor her promise to God, even if it wasn't easy. And that memory stuck with me. As soon as Eli took me in, he put me to work. Now, I started really young. Now, and I'm not talking kid stuff. I did the work of grown men. Now, I helped him with just about everything around here. And I did it well. It was important for me to do it right. It was God's work, and I knew it. I got that from my mother. I did not get that from the man that raised me. Now, Eli wasn't unkind, but he was not exactly the best example of how to lead or live either. Now, I know you've probably heard about the scandals around Eli. I, I don't need to go into them here. Now, the real trouble was with Eli's two sons. Now, those two didn't seem to have any desire to help out around here at all. Talk about honor? <laughs> those two had no idea what it meant to honor God or Eli's work. They embezzled from the organization and from clients. They took advantage of women that came to us. I, those two brothers weren't just wrong, they were corrupt. And Eli knew about it. Believe me, he knew about it. Lots of people telling him to rein his sons in, but he, he didn't do anything. Oh, sure, he tried to talk to them, but they didn't listen. And he did nothing. I was here all the time. I saw what was going on. It didn't make any sense to me. We do important work here. It's God's work. And Eli wouldn't honor God by keeping his sons in line. His sons wouldn't honor God or their father. It was hard to watch. But still, I knew that God had a plan for my life. And that part of that plan was to honor God and to honor Eli as the man in authority over me. So, I still continued to work hard. And I still continue to honor Eli even when I knew he was wrong. And now I'm glad I did. Now, from Eli, I pretty much learned what not to do. But he did teach me one good thing. I remember this one night I was laying in bed and I heard someone call my name. And I thought it was Eli. So I went down to his room and asked him if he needed anything. And he said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So I did. But I heard it again. So I went back again and asked him if he needed anything. And he said, I didn't call you again. So 
it happened a third time. And now I'm thinking that Eli is just trying to get under my skin. But I don't feel right about ignoring him. So I go back down to his room. I ask him if there's anything I can do for him. And he says, I didn't call you, but I think that God might have. He says, if you hear the voice again, say, speak, your servant is listening. Now, I thought that was kind of strange. But when I heard the voice a fourth time, I responded the way he told me to respond. As it turned out, it was God. He told me that because of the corruptness of Eli and his sons, that his sons would be killed and no one in his family would live a very long life. It happened just the way he said it would. And I learned something that day. In the long run, you have to listen to God and you have to honor him and the authority that he's placed in your life. And I've learned that uh, God does what he says he's going to do. And that's how I've lived since. Not only do I live by those rules, but I've tried to pass them on to everybody that I've come in contact with. <laughs> so it's all about honor. My mother chose to honor. I choose to do the same even when I don't understand. And when I think about Eli, I still honor him because he taught me how to hear and answer the voice of God. And that's something. Actually, that's everything. So, it's always been about honor. And in the end, God has proven himself to me and honored me back big time. I'm Samuel, and that's my story.